Hey guys, welcome back to Matt's Woodshop. Today we're outside and we're going to be making raised planter beds made exclusively from cedar pickets. Let's get started. For this project we'll be using cedar pickets. The reason we're using cedar is because they are rot resistant, they weather well, and you can find them at almost all the major hardware stores. Start by deciding what size planter bed you want to build. That's determined by how big your yard is, how many vegetables you'd like to grow, and the availability of lumber at your local hardware store. We've built several planter beds already, but in this video I'm going to be showing you how I made a 2 foot by 4 foot planter bed. Let's begin by cutting 11 boards to 24 inch lengths. Then, we'll be cutting 10 boards into 49 and a half inch lengths. Then, we'll be cutting 5 boards 27 and a half inches for the corner supports. Then, you'll want to rip those boards lengthwise on the table saw. Let's begin by making those corners. First, we're going to clamp two halves together to make a 90 degree angle. Pre-drill the pilot holes with a countersink. Then, place the deck screws in with low tension setting to avoid cracking the wood. We use three screws per corner, one on each side and one in the middle. After your corner pieces are done, you're going to lay those down and place the long boards in between them and you're going to attach the boards to the corner support to make your wall. Drill and screw the boards together. We drilled and screwed the holes from the inside to avoid seeing them from the exterior of the planter bed. We drilled the pilot holes at a slight angle to ensure the screws did not go through the other side of the board. Now that your wall is together, take the extra rip board for the center support and place it in the inside of the middle of the planter bed. This will straighten up your planter bed and increase the integrity. Now attach your two foot boards using the same method as you used for the four foot boards. Use clamps to secure them while you screw them together. Attach the 24 inch support board to the inside of your planter bed horizontally to act as a support brace. For the final step, I ripped a 6 foot picket into 3 1 inch strips. Then I cut them in length to fit around the perimeter of the planter bed. I glued them down and drilled a quarter inch holes on each corner and one in the center. I put glue on the quarter inch dowel then hammered them into each hole. The dowel should fit in snugly to keep the decorative top secure. Your planter beds are now complete. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to see my videos as soon as they come out, hit that notification bell. See you next time.